Hello, and thank you for the invitation to speak to you today. I appreciate that Nordic VR Forum brings people together across disciplines and that you work together on how new technology can make our healthcare and welfare system better. The coming years, we will experience demographic changes and we will transition from an oil-dependent economy. To succeed, we need both private and public sector to manage our resources more efficiently. But simply, we must get smarter. Our goal is that by 2030, more elderly people will have the chance to live longer in their homes, even if they have an illness. This will require new technologies. Digital services will enable monitoring of more patients at home while saving care homes and other resources for other patients. I am sure this will make life more comfortable for a lot of people. We hope to see more welfare technologies like that. Digitalization is our most important tool for increasing both productivity and welfare. In fact, half of the productivity gains in recent years is due to digitalization. In the future, public and private sector must work together in new ways and with new tools. Our policy agenda is the Norwegian digital strategy for public sector. This strategy has a time span from 2019 to 2025 and applies to sectors in both local and central government. The goal is user-friendly digital services, both for people and businesses. Our focus is on creating seamless digital services based on people's life events. For instance, living with an illness or establishing a business. This is not something public sector can achieve alone. When we define a problem to solve, new ideas and solutions often come from private companies. And that's why working together is crucial. Therefore, our strategy emphasizes the importance of both sectors working together. Better public digital services will lead to increased efficiency and more innovation. This will also strengthen the region competitiveness internationally. New technology is based on data and generates data. To achieve many of our goals, we need to make better use of data as a resource. Right now, we are working on a white paper on data-driven economy and innovation. The white paper focuses on how the emergence of data is an asset, both for the public sector and the Norwegian industry. We need more expertise in data sharing. We must understand the connection between data as a research, law and technology. But simply, we need to trust data. That's why we recently opened the National Research Center for Data Sharing. This will be a learning environment for the entire public sector and for businesses who collaborate with public sector on data sharing. Digitalization affects both citizens, the business community and public sector. Digital competence will become increasingly important in the years to come. That's why we found Norwegian municipalities for linking businesses in the districts with universities. The goal is to make businesses outside the big cities more attractive to candidates after graduation. In our recent government white paper on innovation in the public sector, we point out three important principles for promoting innovation in the public sector. Firstly, politicians and public authorities must provide room for development and incentives to innovate. Secondly, leaders must develop a culture for innovation where employees dare to think differently and where there is space to fail and learn from both mistakes and successes. In addition, public service providers must seek new forms of cooperation within the public sectors and with private sectors companies. There is no doubt, your conference today checks off all points. I am very pleased to see how you bring different sectors and communities together. Environments such as yours will create new jobs, educate 
on digitalization and provide easier and better access to health services. I wish you the best of luck with today's conference and hope you find inspiration and ideas that will bring us all forward. Thank you for your attention.